at the total amateur of waxing, only working with liquid ones so far, I want to ask two things. A, when you're applying multiple layers of glide wax, what do you do in between the layers? How much time uh, should we wait? Any brushing, scraping, et cetera. So there's a number of great just spray on waxes. Um, and what they found is one of the best ways to prep your skis is to spray that wax on when you finish, when you finish skiing uh, or really like the night before because uh, it tends to sort of create this like hard shell on the ski and then uh, to brush that out like that next morning. And so allowing it to sit overnight has, has done something that's quite well. So for those liquid waxes, usually you spray it on, let them sit, and then you're brushing or buffing them out with a, a specialized brush. Uh, I still am a huge fan of, of hot waxing and using an iron. So I think if that's if that's something that you can add into your repertoire, I think that's a great thing to do um, as well. Um, does mean a little bit more equipment with an iron. And if you've never done that before, I, I highly encourage you to go to your local ski shop and, and do an in-person clinic. I know um, I've done different clinics for different ski shops and uh, they offer them pretty regularly, but so that you can see somebody that how they apply that to the iron. And the key thing is to keep that, keep the iron moving. Um, you don't really need, you want enough heat to, to melt the wax, but you don't actually need a lot of wax and um, you let the wax cool, uh, maybe, five or 10 minutes and then you scrape it off and then brush it out and you're good to ski. But having fast skis is, is really, really enjoyable, whether you're trying to go fast or you're just trying to enjoy your time out there. The glide is probably my favorite part of cross-country skiing. So keeping those, those skis well. And that's a great reminder as we start getting into getting closer to ski season, this is a good time to go track down your skis in the garage, make sure that they, uh, Hopefully they had a layer of wax on them last summer. If not, maybe throw a layer of wax, to get things ready. I always like to keep one pair of skis that I really don't mind if they get beat up for that first snowfall where we'll be skiing on the golf course. You can just cruise around. And if you don't have a set there, maybe you want to look to, to piece one together, a, a pair of used skis, something inexpensive, um, but something that can protect your really good skis, but still allow you to get out with friends in that first snowfall. Uh, this one is for both glide and kick waxes. Which waxes or layers of wax should we apply the day before the competition, which on the day of the competition? So that depends a little bit on how, how stable the forecast looks and how intense that you're going to, to do different things. So if, this, if the, the forecast is quite stable, I'm a huge fan of just taking care of your skis the night before. So you can wake up, enjoy breakfast, I've got a little one, and then um, get out and, and just go and focus on racing uh, or skiing. Um, if it looks like you're not really sure, if it, you know, is it going to snow tonight, is it not going to snow tonight, I will do, I'll tend to go a little bit colder than, uh, like when in doubt, go on the colder side of things, because cold wax will run warmer as opposed to a warmer wax will struggle a little bit going colder. And then, uh, try to make adjustments that day out. I like to get a binder on there. Anything that I feel like is going to take a lot of time and they can get really set up. And then that morning of, you can apply uh, you know, that wax of the day. And I'm a huge fan of trying it before in practice. So rather than freaking out the night before just your race, say, hey, I'm going to apply this, this same sort of thing and pretend, pretend that my race or my time that I really want to have good wax is you know, the next day. I'll typically do that for interval sessions because that helps me get my skis well prepared. 